Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. After CIA micro coup, Trump suddenly wants Russia to give up Crimea, thinks Obama was too soft. By Brandon Turbville. Only a day after an apparent micro coup conducted by elements within the CIA and U.S. intelligence apparatus, it appears that if the CIA's goal was to convince President Donald Trump that moves toward rapprochement with Russia would not be tolerated and that forces greater than Trump are in control of U.S. policy, that mission has been accomplished. Despite a campaign of seemingly more rational foreign policy promises not to start World War III, on the evening of February 14, mainstream headlines announced that Trump is now claiming that Crimea was taken by Russia and that Russia should give the region back to Ukraine. Special, how to fix your fatigue, do this every day. President Trump has made it very clear that he expects the Russian government to escalate violence in the Ukraine and return Crimea, said White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer on Tuesday. Trump then later tweeted on Wednesday, February 15. Crimea was taken by Russia during the Obama administration. Was Obama too soft on Russia? As is typical, senile warmonger John McCain, who is well known for abandoning U.S. pals in Vietnam and supporting every single military action ever put on the table including supporting actual terrorists, joined in a chorus of war fervor, urging Trump to let's take a different course together, give defensive lethal assistance to hash Ukraine and keep sanctions on hash Russia. Trump's rhetoric on the campaign, mere hinting at the fact that the United States under a Trump administration might consider removing the idiotic and aggressive sanctions put in place under Obama, are now directly at odds with his behavior and decisions as president. Russia is not backing down either, having called on Trump to live up to his more sensible rhetoric on the campaign trail regarding peace and a sane relationship with Russia. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman, Maria Zakharova also stated that the question of Crimea will simply not be discussed and is not open for debate. Crimea is part of the Russian Federation, she said. Russian officials also denied the paranoid conspiracy theories of leftist commentators and mainstream media pundits regarding the alleged collusion between Trump's team and Russian intelligence. A clear intelligence operation the Michael Flynn ouster has either provided justification for Trump's sharp left question mark slash right? imperialist turn against Russia or it was simply a message sent by the intelligence community that Trump has clearly received. If the incident was the former, we are witnessing clever theater being played at a level of complexity heretofore unseen in American politics. If it is the latter, however, Trump must immediately begin to get his intelligence apparatus under control, possibly by indictments of any individuals involved in the monitoring and leaking of Flynn's phone call. Indeed, these rogue actors should be given all the comforts of Chelsea Manning's vacated cell. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.